either or both of you, how do you kind of evaluate this game where you obviously blew a lead, but they chose some heart and stop the point? Yeah, I mean, we thought we were good for the first 37 minutes. Uh, we're up to nothing, and we have a power play that I thought we had some really good looks on, but we just couldn't score. Um, after that, they come back and a little bit of ozone time in our zone, and they score and make it a one goal game, and still felt fine going into the third. I mean, those are close games. We're used to playing those and comfortable playing in those, but um, they just came out harder than we did in the third. Um, obviously, they get some bounces. We make some mistakes, and combined, it's not a good. Uh, it's not a good combination. Um, obviously, like you said, we find a way to tie the game up, bring it in the OT, but not enough. Well, can you balance the gratification of getting a two goal lead? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think everybody can agree it's great to score goals, but at the end of the day, you you want to win hockey games. Um, I thought we were lucky to get a point out of that one tonight. Um, kind of just echo what Gabe said. I think we were kind of in the driver's seat there and then we just came out in the third and uh, yeah, like he said, um, bounces, turnovers, everything combined and we end up in a hole. So um, you never want to be in that position late in the third period. Uh, you're not going to score two goals with two minutes left every every game. So um, yeah, uh, I don't know. What, uh, I guess you mentioned the power play that you, you felt like you had some good chances. Do you feel like it's, Kind of getting there as a unit, even if the results aren't Yeah, I do. But power play is the same as a hockey game in general. You got to win, and power play, you got to score goals. Um, but we will stick with it, and then we're going to keep working and keep watching our power play and see what we can do better. And, and obviously, some guys have been hurt and whatever, but we got a really good unit and I like our unit with the guys that are on it. Uh, guys like Bo has stepped in and had a really good game today. And um, Nas has filled that spot on the one flank really well. And, but you got to score goals. And, and especially at that point in that hockey game, we're up to nothing. And we got a chance to take a three, three goal lead with four minutes to go in the second. So yeah, we need to, we need better out of the power play for sure. Five on five. Oh, yeah. He played with us last game too, so it wasn't. I mean, we played with Conf and before, and uh, like I said last game, he I think he stepped in and, and fills that role pretty good. Tonight, I don't think five on five. We our line was as good as we we should have been or could have been, but um, chance to bounce back on Saturday. Defensively, for either of you, were there specific things that you felt kind of went wrong for you guys in the third? Pardon. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we both kind of touched on it. Um, bounces, getting beat, turnovers. It, like we said, it just kind of all piles onto each other. Um, I mean, I think when you're playing at your best, you can have a bounce or two go, go against you, um, but you can recover from it or whatever it might be. So uh, I think it's something that we'll definitely look at and watch, obviously, and get ready to play these guys again in a couple of days. No, started in the second. I didn't think we worked as hard as we did in the first. Our goalie? Oh, I don't know. I I didn't I didn't mind our goalie at times tonight. I mean, there's. This if you look, go back on the tape on the goals we gave up. I don't like any of them. They're all preventable and not and not preventable because. Um, you know, there was some fancy play coming at us. They were all work based or lack of work that, that cost those goals against. You rallied for two late goals and got the point for an injury plagued team. Is that kind of a, a moral victory right there? I, I love the resiliency at the end. And it's just that you can feel the game shift in the second period. Right. And I know it's not a 
it, it's not our full team in, in in the lineup tonight. But that's the youngest team in the league, them. So when you're when you're playing a team, we've got a bunch of young kids in the lineup, and they've got a bunch of young kids in the lineup. Every player that played for us tonight has played for us before. They're NHL players. There are 20 guys in the locker room. There are guys. Okay. Some of them had to start in the minors because of numbers and whatnot. We still have some other guys down there that I think are NHL players that will be able to come up and help us. So it's just like there's certain things in our game that have to be non-negotiable. And it's it's simple things. It's four check routes, pushing and reloading, tracking, working to get back above pucks that we didn't do tonight. And we did it early and we had some success. Like I I liked our first period. We played in the right half of the rink probably 70% of the first period. And then they ramped up their work ethic and it was, you know, the offense wasn't coming for us. Well, that's what I expect as a coach. I expect that that, you know, you pull all these talented guys out of your lineup that some of your offense is going to struggle. Your puck movement's not going to be as clean. You're not going to find open ice all over the place. It's going to be an uglier game. But the the, the defending details and some of the non-negotiables is what you got to double down on. you got to be tougher to play against than we were tonight. Yeah, at least it even strength. JT Thompson fit in well enough to be a viable option in Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah. I, I thought he did some good things. All of our guys did some good things, but we just didn't carry it through the, the entire length of the game. So um, we the ebbs and flows of the game, when they started to take the game over, we didn't ramp it up to a level that we needed to, and it got away from us. And then, and then we did. You could feel the urgency on the bench, 11 minutes to go, 10 minutes to go, down two, and then all of a sudden we started to come, right? And you know, we stick with it and, and, and the six on five was good. But even even going into the six on five, it's not like we we're creating a lot of chances there. And and I, you know, to a certain extent, I didn't expect to create a ton of chances tonight, but we needed to be better defensively. But I did like the resiliency at the end to get the point. But all the goals, even the three on three goal, they're all, it's just, it's, it's simple defensive hockey and work ethic and not getting lazy and not cheating. Is there like a... Did you have a sense of, I guess, like the team got comfortable after going up two nothing? Like, what led to the not work? No, I don't. I don't know. You, that's a beat after that's the players. Any else here? Is that something I guess you talked through with them immediately after the game, or is it something you talked through? Exactly? No, we'll talk through it when we go through the video, because the video doesn't lie. Like, there's things that we did well, and the things that were hard, and then things that that we that we got to get. We have to the buy in and and in certain areas of our game has to be there. And when we're winning, it's there. It's there almost all the time. And, you know, when we're, you know, like it, that was going to be a young team against a young team tonight. You know, that's what it was. And, um, you know, I thought we carried the play for a large portion of it, but we have to be able to extend that. The, the Those non-negotiables, they got to be every night 60 minutes in order to win hockey games in this league. Such is there. Is uh, there a sense of frustration uh, at the lack of power play goals, or is that just something you think there, the chances are there if that goes in? Well, we haven't been good enough on it. Um, we do, like, we are creating some chances, but not at the clip that, that we normally do. Again, expected for me. Um, our power play hasn't, number one power play hasn't been together yet. I don't think at all. So, um, with Landy missing suspension, then Nate, now Miko and Kale, like it's just not together. So that's part of it. But we have, we still have talented players playing that power play. We have to be able to execute a little bit better than we did. Some guys are, you know, like we're, you know, some guys are still feeling it out. How do you think both did in that spot? Uh, obviously on the power play and five on five doing the game that loved that. Well, he came up big at the end, you know, he the shot. I mean, he makes two great plays in the power on the power player, six on five, right? Then we get a couple goals. So um, I, I would say pretty good, you know, not perfect. There's areas of improvement for sure. Helping on some of the breakouts, getting into the right spots a little bit quicker. But I mean, he was pretty good. Thank you, Jerry. Yep, thanks. Man.